What is up my crazy subscriber, this is Joe King John CD4 and today I'm here to bring you guys more Battlefield 1 and also hopefully you guys have been enjoying the Battlefield 1 series because so far it has been pretty good for me because I've been getting a lot of kills back to back and also like several of my gameplays average like around 35 kills to 45 kills per gameplay so uh, so far so good people. So anyways today I'll be talking about the top 3 best maps of Battlefield 1 and I understand I'll probably get some hate out of this because you know some people uh, really want to talk about their opinions and not really fine you know you guys got your own opinions about the top three maps of uh, Battlefield 1 then leave it in the comment section guys I don't really mind but these these maps it's just my opinion you know I just picking them because these are the maps that I actually did pretty much well and also I know how to flank the enemy with no problem so at number three starting off with number three the gameplay in the background this map is called Barroom Blitz and uh, this map requires you to like learn everything that you need to know about the game short range weapons long range weapons and learn how to control yourself out there in the battlefield and do not go into open spaces you gotta use them walls people you gotta know how to use the coverage because if you don't you're just gonna get owned in this map because it requires you to have every single skill and every single style to play in this map there's open spaces there's hallways there's tight spaces there's a big ass room where you gotta capture a flag anyway I think it's, it's, I think it's flag C I'm not sure but you know so far it has been pretty much good for me in this map I don't really mind if I die a lot because I have a lot of fun in this map because there's just so many ways you can get into a certain into a certain flag and it's just super fun man and also there's like a little part of the map where you can go into the second floor and start killing people from up there so there's a lot of things to do in this map you gotta learn it there's some tanks going around too which kind of annoys me but I don't really mind because I know how to wreck people out here in this freaking map it's pretty much fun my highest amount of kills so far in this map has been 41 I believe so um, now moving on to number two I believe this map is called Swiss so this map, the reason why I like this one at number two, because uh, so far it has been pretty good for me. I don't think I have gone negative so far, and every single time I lose in this map, I still go positive, like way positive, like maybe like around 40 kills and 10 deaths half of the time. And I believe this game played the background, I went 50 kills and 10 deaths, by the way. So it wasn't that bad of a match. And I know some people are going to call me out like, hey, Joe, you're camping in the background, blah, blah. Well, there's a big difference between camping and defending a goddamn flag because, you know, a lot of Call of Duty players do not know about this. You know, you got to defend the fucking flag. Play the objectives, people. So anyways, uh, it's not camping. It's called defending. So the reason why I like this map is it's because when you start off a match and you meet up in the middle with the enemy, it just goes down like fucking crazy. There's a big ass hill and every time you just wait on one end, there's always going to be one dumb enemy just crossing that hill and it will be an easy shot. And so it just racks you up the kills like crazy. And that's what I've been doing lately. This one is the one that actually allows me to raise up my KD, uh, you know, go crazy out there in the battlefield with kills. And it's just, it's been super positive for me with this map. I just love it and I wish to play it every single time. Um, hopefully when we start renting servers, I can make this one 24-7 or something because, man, I think this year I'm going to rent a server. It looks pretty good. The game it looks pretty stable too. And uh, I know the, the guns are a little bit wacky, but, you know, you guys can deal with it. I'm pretty... At number one, surprise, surprise, of course, I've been talking about this map so many times, Argon Forest. Well, so far, guys, I'm telling you, I've been averaging like around over 40 kills per gameplay, 40 to 50, and uh, it's no problem for me. Like, I can just keep on doing it forever. And I usually use still my LMG, you know, that I've been always talking about, the Lewis Gun Suppressor, still a beast of a weapon on this map. And, uh, you know, once those enemies just come back to back, just watch the gameplay in the background. It's, just, it's about to happen. Uh, once the enemy comes back to back, you just hold on to that RTU until it reaches 50 bullets and just let go because it's going to overheat. But, you know, you're going to get like around three to four kills in the back to back. Just watch this craziness right there. Enemies just coming in, rushing in, and I'm over here and I'm back and I'm like, what the hell should I do? Just hold on RTU and just take out everybody that just so up in, the, in that freaking pathway so it's insane man i like it it's very destructive it's very chaotic half of the time you gotta watch your back also because there's multiple pathways to get from point a to point d and you know there's just a lot of ways you can just go like from uh just sneak up behind the enemies and also flank them so 
Um, I like this map, man. It's, it just reminds me a lot about the old school Call of Duties because it, of the map and also of the style that you had to just play this map because there's no tanks, there's nothing to like uh, like to distract you like choppers. Um, choppers. There's not even a single chopper in this game, isn't there? That's kind of weird. Wasn't there choppers back in the day? <laughs> so there's no planes, there's no tanks, so it's straight up fighting, straight up you know gunfighting all the time, and that's what I like, man. Gunfighting. It tests your skills, man. That tests a lot of people's skills because I know a lot of YouTubers out there, a lot of big streamers from uh, Battlefield 1, they usually just camp in a tank the whole stream and they call themselves the best player in the fucking game. It's fucking stupid, to be honest. So I had to say, guys, I want to talk about today my top three favorite maps of Battlefield 1. What are your best three maps so far? You know, let us know in the comment section. I'll read them later and I'll feature them in my next video. I'll try to do some something new around here in my channel so you guys can be a little bit more, you know, into my video.